projects here in Cambodia include building a bridge, building a house, digging a well, and teaching English at the HVTO school that's right next to our accommodation. Each of these projects has extended us physically. They've been hard work. They've also brought us into contact with the people who live here. And I think that's the most memorable part of these six days that we've had in this part of camp, this beautiful part of the country, is to meet the people here and to join with them to accomplish some projects and goals and programs that we hope will help the people of this community. Here today it's uh, day four and we're actually working to finish up the uh, main part of the, the bridge. What you see behind us is the, the basic form's been done, the rebar's been done, the students have been working really hard um, to get the structure down and then they're really excited and rested but ready to put together the final pieces that are actually going to build the bridge. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far here in Cambodia outside Sim Reap with uh, 31 students um, and six adults really working hard getting to know the people in the community but actually putting together this major project um, it's rare that, that students come halfway around the world to actually put in the time to work. Um, usually we see kids will send donations, uh, people will do things on the internet, um, but the connections that you make really being kind of boots on the ground and a part of everything changes it. To be part of this village and this community and to feel that we're doing something that's going to make things a little bit better around here um, really changes everything and makes it really genuine for us. You know, a lot of people talk about the idea of, of contact and help kind of bridging, but actually building a bridge itself, actually having that be the, the project itself is connecting two sides, is pretty amazing, and you don't really get to do that often. I mean, the kids, you know, when you go in the first door on the ground, So many of our kids want to study engineering, but haven't actually done any engineering. They've solved problems in books, uh, mastered equations, but not like building. So, you know, driven over bridges, but don't really understand what's underneath the bridge as they, as they drive. So here's a great chance for them to learn about this. And working hand in hand in hand with Mr. Gab as he designs the bridge from the ground up. Hi, I'm Christina and I'm from Orlando, Florida. Um, and I've never built anything like a bridge before and I have no building experience. And um, this entire time I've been a really terrible builder. I'm really good at pouring cement though. And playing with the kids is a lot of fun. Like there are a ton of kids around the work site and they've just been a lot of fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cassie. I'm from Massachusetts. Um, I, again, haven't really built anything like this and most of the time I've been watching the kids around the work site and playing with them and hanging out with them and it's been a lot of fun. They're all really sweet. Oh. Um, I'm Megan from Massachusetts. And I have never been this far away from home before, so it's been a lot of new experiences. I've never built before, and I've never been to Asia, so I've tried a lot of new things while I was here. Hey, I'm Connor. I'm from Aspen, Colorado. Um, Cambodia is awesome. <laughs> hey, I'm Kristen. I live in Sandwich, Massachusetts. I have no building experience, but it's been really fun. Just helping out, pushing each other to the limit, like, and playing with the kids. The kids here are great. They all have a lot of fun around the work day. Okay, have you enjoyed your work here? Yeah, I really have. Okay. It's so cool how all the people in the community come out and watch us work because it's, yeah. like, really impacting their life. Yeah. Gary? Okay, so you work very hard, so. Uh, 
How do you feel? Uh, good. I like this project. Like it's pretty fun to do all the like cement and see how the bridge is like going to be built. Good. Thank you. Okay. This is India and Sid. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Uh, we're super excited to be here working on the bridge. Very good, yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Liz West. I'm a registered nurse at Tabor Academy, and I'm here with a group of students. We came to build a bridge for the community so that students could get to school safely. They used to cross the river um, along planks, and as the river swelled, it became an unsafe situation for them to get to school. So we decided that we would like to help this community and build this bridge and um, have had an amazing learning experience and bonding experience with each other and with uh, the local people. Under their guidance, we have learned how to lay brick and pour concrete and um, got a that we worked on for the uh, for three days and uh, we were here to work for five days and honestly people thought we would finish early but this was almost done after two days which I think really, really surprised everybody um, from the building aspect we really away. didn't have any expectations so when we came here everybody just wanted to get their hands dirty once we saw it it had to do with wood uh, we realized that we didn't have any experience to go back on um, with this type of building so we really had to rely on the local workers who knew exactly what they were doing um, they were really patient with our group. We were, they offered us every time that they could to help. Uh, we cut notches, we nailed beams to the posts, we uh, dug holes for foundations, just to name a few things that we did, but our hands are all over this project. Um, one thing that was awesome for us was the end of the first day when we brought those, uh, there are three uh, beam pieces that are supporting the house. We brought those over. One, it took every single person at this site, all of our kids and uh, faculty, which are 18 of us, and then all of the workers. We lifted it up, we brought it over here, really heavy, um, and then we had to lift it up, like straight up, a foot and a half. and. We didn't think it could happen, but next thing you know, we're lifting it up, and, and it was actually really, it was magical to see that we could, all of us together, could lift this up and get it onto the foundation. Uh, the other awesome thing about this was not only were we building a house for a family in need, uh, we actually got to meet the family, the mother and the daughter. Uh, when you can put a face to the work that you're doing, it makes it that much more meaningful. Um, 
and getting to know the mother. Um, even though we can't speak Khmer, uh, we can communicate through gestures and through actions. And she could see that we were working hard for her to give her a home. And every afternoon she came out with a snack to cool us down. Um, and, and we thought that was great. And we also got to uh, play with the local kids and the little girl who's going to be living in the house. We got to play with her a lot, which was, uh, you know, building was great, but interacting with the people was even better. My Buddhist philosophy, uh, if really existed what it said in the book, if we give somebody a home in the future, yeah, uh, not uh, could be in the future this life, it could be the future next life, uh, God will prepare us a fancy home. Yeah. Uh, so thank you very much. All the best in the name of the family. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you. เอ่อខ្ញុំសង្គមថាយើងសង្គមថាអភិធានេះនឹងផ្ដល់សេចក្តីសុខសុភាពមង្គលដល់ទូសាបងអូខ្ញុំសង្គមថាអភិធានេះ
how to pick up some of these skills. We've been drilling all morning. It's really exciting. And right now, we're laying the cement and waiting for it to solidify. Uh, we've been doing this for uh, two or three days. Um, it is very hard working. We get, we get uh, pretty messy here, especially in this kind of um, humid and hot weather. But I think uh, we made it through and um, I'm very proud of us. Hard work pays off. <laughs> We've learned that the family needs water, and that's why we're here to help them digging a well so they can have clean water. We're very happy to be here, and we hope the family will live healthier with the well that we dig. Living in this village for a couple days, I've come to realize how important the water source is for the entire village. And I'm just happy to build a water pump for the, uh, for the village. Hi, um, I'm Tony. I'm also from Tabor Academy. Yeah, so, um, well, it was a very hard task to drilling by uh, manually. It, it was very hard, but um, we, uh, we are very, very happy that to see, to see the outcome that um, there's clean water, there's clean water coming out and I'm enjoying, I'm really happy that um, people are happy because of this um, clean water and yeah, I hope they can live long. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, uh... And we are very excited to help the people this way. So we hope that uh, uh, this pump uh, would be very helpful for the family. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you very much to all students and teachers from uh, Table Academy, United States. So thank you very much.
Who is she? Well, this is the final part of our school program, our service program here, and it's to teach English to elementary school students in the school. And in some ways, I think this is the activity that is closest to our hearts. Some of the students in our group are non-native English speakers themselves. They come from other countries to our school. So they have a special connection with the kids here as they're learning English. I myself teach Chinese at our school, so I have also struggled with learning another language, for me Chinese. So as we see Cambodian elementary school children in interacting with, making friends with, and responding to our teachers today, it's a really special part of the program. And I just want to acknowledge that how, what a happy group of kids they are. I know that the key to learning a language is to make friends, actually. And I think they've all, both our students and the local students, have made some nice friends here today. Fly. 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 Mouth. Mouth. Boy. Boy. Eye. Eye. Nose. Nose. Car. Pen. Pen. Pencil. I really love this project. It like gives me um, the feeling of being a teacher, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's pretty weird. Being a teacher is kind of hard. Yeah, um, it's kind of, it's very difficult sometimes, especially when you're trying to communicate with the kids and when you cannot speak Khmer. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> definitely the hard part. I saw you guys actually. You guys were doing great. Thank you. You guys oh, were doing you. great. I think so too. <laughs> you think, yes. Like, like the kids are so cute. I, yeah. I like them yeah. so much. Yeah. And their curiosity to the. Yeah, knowledge. that's definitely like, yes. impressive. And some kids are so smart. They, they, some kids like they already know English and they understand everything yeah, yeah. I talk. And they yeah. always raise their hands and say, yeah. "Oh, I want to I do this part." Good morning, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. See yeah. you tomorrow. <laughs> this yeah, is so exactly. polite. Very yeah. polite. Yes. I really think they're going to grow up into like really, really smart citizens. Yes. Because yes. you know, like some of the assistant teachers, they're actually the same age as us, as in like 16 or 17, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and they can speak English so well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. English is yeah. definitely key to their like growth and to their development. So I, mm -hmm. I think. Yes, yes. I think this program really important. It's a very meaningful program. Yeah. 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 This is definitely my favorite. Yeah, favorite my favorite place. House. Okay, so uh, can you tell me how you f uh, find your life in the village here? It was wonderful. We had a great time. Good. The village was very nice. All people were very friendly. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the um, homestay part of this uh, program and uh, a lot of attention is paid towards the benefits of um, uh, doing the construction work and, and the work projects and the um, service trip element of it and there's definitely a lot of benefit to that but I think one of the biggest benefits is just being able to live um, in physically in people's houses um, and get to um, experience a little bit of what that's like. I think it's really easy to um, understand how uh, different cultures are, but I think it's harder and equally important to understand how similar cultures are. And you can only really tell that when you spend some time uh, in and amongst uh, people that you're uh, visiting and working with. And the homestay families that, that we've had on this trip have been excellent. We had two different groups, um, but the house that I stayed in um, the people literally opened their rooms to us and um, 
have done everything they can to make us as comfortable and part of the family as possible. Uh, if there's something we couldn't do, they were sure to do it for us. But more importantly, if it was something we could do, they showed us how to do it. And I think that that's really um, one of the most eye-opening and, and rewarding. Um, I think like to think that we tried to be as good as guests as we could, um, but we couldn't be as good as hosts as they were hosts to us. So um, I just wanted to say something in, of appreciation of people opening their houses to us. And it makes me think when I'm back home, where I'm from, to always extend that extra um, bit of courtesy to guests um, in my country. So thank you all. has been so generous. They've let us into their home and treated us like family. They cook us three meals a day, which have been so delicious. And it's been really cool to eat the foods that they eat. And we really liked just learning about how they live in Cambodia. Yeah, uh, we have mosquito nettings and um, yeah, mattresses. And uh, so that we don't get bitten by bugs and mosquitoes. And uh, yeah, um, and what I really like about like the host families are is that people are really really nice hosts. Um, yeah, uh, they help us with everything. They cook us food. Uh, yeah, we eat together over here. And the So we had all the other houses uh, come by and have dinner together and we talked and talked and talked. And that was one of the best uh, dinners I think uh, I had in this trip here. So um, yeah, it was very good. Um, it gave us plenty of energy to keep going and uh, it was perfect. So okay. well, thank you. Our school is a small school. We have 500 students. It's a private boarding and day school that's located right on the Atlantic Ocean. So the, the character of the school it definitely is connected with the sea. Uh, one of the things that's special about our school is that we have quite a few students from other countries. Uh, and the other, another thing that's special is we ask every student to do some community service. So we organized this trip coming to Cambodia this year when we heard of the opportunity to come here and help the life of the community and we're so this is our sixth day in Cambodia and we're so excited to have been to have started and now we're, we've finished several of four projects <laughs> ហើយចំចង់ជម្រាបការចូលរួមរបស់ក្រុមហ៊ុនអាស៊ីអេសនេះដែលនៅក្នុងនេះចូលរួមដើម្បីចាត់ទោសជាទាំងអស់ម៉
để tham liên để tra để châu rung để cho cá hạ bị vọt để cho cúm để chia thừa tiền thừa sang sả la đi lên cái là nick trong ở miền nào vậy để trở về chơi với anh trong công Thank <laughs> you.